Hey, I'm Andrea, and this video is about a Twins hitter to watch, and I picked catcher Ryan Jeffers. Jeffers missed a lot of time last season due to a thumb injury, but this year he's slated to be the backup catcher behind Christian Vasquez, but I do think Jeffers has the potential to be a starting catcher on a lot of teams, and let's get into why. Jeffers' biggest offensive strength is his power. Last season, he had a max exit velo of 113 miles per hour, which put him in the top 9% of the league. His hard hit rates are also better than average at 42%, which is 6% better than major league average. And that power is being translated. He has a high barrel rate at 13% and he has a high fly ball rate. Then looking at his bat to ball skills, this is an area where Jeffers has historically not been so great, has had high strikeout rates, high whiff rates, but last season he showed a lot of improvement. If we look at this table, he has an average zone contact rate, average whiff rate, strikeout rate still worse than average, but not as bad as it was historically, which was closer to like 30%. And uh, when he does chase, the chase contact rate is 5% better than average. I'm hopeful that he can maintain this progress and these improvements because he did make a couple of swing changes from 2021 to 2022. Starting at his pre-pitch setup, it uh, looks like he's starting with a more vertical bat and with a more open stance in 2022. Then looking at his stance during load, his bat is also more vertical here and his front or left arm, that elbow there, is lower. So what these changes might have done is it might have allowed Jeffers to improve his bat speed and therefore he was able to reach more balls in zone than prior years. Jeffers was also seeing the ball slightly above average last year. Uh, his walk rate was slightly above average, his chase rate was slightly less than average, and he was swinging in zone an average amount. So looking at this year, I suspect that Jeffers will spend most of his at-bats facing left-handed pitchers, and I think this because he has extreme splits. Looking at his career OPS versus both hands, we could see that his career OPS versus left-handed pitchers is 794, which is 177 points better than his career OPS versus right-handed pitchers. And with Christian Vasquez taking on that starter role, Jeffers will have the opportunity to be put in better matchups. Not only does Jeffers provide offensively, but he also has the ability to provide defensively. He does have slightly worse than average pop times. That's the time where he gets the ball from the pitcher to the time that he gets it to second base on a steal attempt. But his value comes from framing. Looking at these metrics from Baseball Savant, we could see that since 2020, his catcher framing runs and his strike rate have been above average. 2020, that 51% or 52% strike rate is actually really good. That's the top of the league. And it is so valuable to be able to find a catcher that not only provides this defensive value, but is also able to contribute something at the plate. And I think Jeffers does have that ability with his power potential and offensive attributes versus left-handed pitchers in particular. What do you think of Ryan Jeffers? If you like this video, please hit subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Scalco Report. Thanks for watching.